Alright guys, I feel like every time I record this video, <coughs> the Blossom Rank Up Survival Dungeon video, King Autumn is always like a higher and higher level. Because the first day, he was at level, like rank 0. Next day, rank 1. Today, he's at rank 110. So, 115. So hopefully, he's like just going to speedily get to rank 5 and I won't even have to worry about it. Which, Zyron got surprisingly good amount of usage out of him in the live duels video. But uh, I still lost, so I can't say it was fantastic. So, you know, maybe with luck, by tomorrow he'll be at rank 2. Hmm? Fingers crossed. I'm not actually hopeful for that. And what is the move that I'm getting... Once he gets to the next rank, isn't it like, yeah, it's mega stun. Um, people really seem to like that mega stun, but like, it's always a problem with stun monsters, which is why it's so great that like, Tubercon has roots too, because like, if you rely on stun, <coughs> then you're facing the whole sea of monsters that are immune to stun thanks to them preparing us for teddy bomb so it's like a generally unreliable method of denying you know but then again there's still the sea of monsters that isn't immune like i don't know a lot of taunt monsters like literally i think we just got like like, I, we just got a taunt monster, the race taunt monster, slab, immune to control. Permanent mega taunt monster, immune to control. Steel growth, I think he was just immune to stun, or he was tough. Can't remember which one. Wasn't he, like, immune to bleed or something? It wasn't, like, that great. But, yeah, I'm glad I'm about to get Merc to rank 3, because I've been working on this since like season one and i think it's like season four of the blossom era right like what was last season or is this season three yeah i think if this is season three then this has been like one of the longest feeling eras ever Hey, Gartox, PvP monster. I just got him out of like the tier 7 chest I've been cooking up. Oh wait, I forgot to put another chest. Another chest to start like hatching. Um, I don't know, cause I want Tubercon for free at like rank 3. I don't want to have to work for it. Especially because the rank up survival dungeon, you just... There's no way I'd be have time to rank him up, and whatever OP Tails monster there is, and whatever like mind blowing this and that there is, and I want to rank up Forge vibes eventually. It's this era is so crazy, man. I'm glad though that Forge vibes got a good monster because I used to watch him right, like when I was like a Minecraft bro. I found his channel and I watched him for a bit. Yeah, he was pretty funny, like, the first few times. Not dogging on him. You should check out his channel if you really want to. But, like, glad his monster is good. Because, oh my goodness, he might just be the most used YouTuber monster ever. Because triple damage is a mechanic few use. <coughs> but, then people might just use Brain Lodon instead. But then again, he's an abomination. And abomination just got a hater. Like, their biggest hater yet. Bigger than any, like, Minecraft troll in the comment section. Abomination hater. Like, they are going to destroy him. And Forge Lab starts the battle off with regeneration. Which, personally, I see that as a disadvantage and also a fantastic thing. Fantastic for these Rank Up Survival Dungeons. Disadvantage because the second I fight... A forged labs in a team war, I'm gonna run reverse healing. <laughs> like, like if I can reverse healing you, I'm gonna. And I think he had healing, right? Maybe. Uh, 
or was he just like that? The uh, Metropolitan Revival monster, where he she has a status caster healing, but she doesn't have any healing moves. Well, she can revive that 50% with healing, but I wouldn't really count that as anything. Alright, there's Matt Stoney, Poseidonia, and Wingsu. Bro, I, I die for this stamina. Like, I'm surprised there's no reverse stamina. Although, how would that work? Because, like, if you stole stamina, would you gain stamina? Like, if you did a move, would you gain stamina? And when you recharge, you lose it? Yeah, that's probably too complicated. <laughs> Let's just stick to stamina draining. Um, part of me wants them to release one more dot that drains stamina. So that you could be like... Curse, Nightmares, Drown, Stamina Draining, and... Because <coughs> 5 is a nice number. 5 or 4. But I'm, you know, I'm in contempt. Also, I found a lifesaver. Like, I found a... What is it called? <coughs> mm, what is it called? I'm trying to find the right word for it. A portable charger. Which, man, it's just so nice, because I play out here, right? And then my tablet will die that I play on, and then it's like, oh, well, you can't do anything anymore. And boom, sandstorm. Dismantle, Soul Stew, Silent Side, Behind the Shadows, Stained in Fear. I wish it gave a stamina regeneration though, that would have made it like an ultra move for me. <coughs> <coughs> you really didn't need to cleanse. Chain Sweep, boom, boop, stamina draining, boop. Alright, no. And then he's just gonna hit him. Hit him with everything you got. Trait disabled. Oh. Darn. Sandstorm. Didn't land on that guy. <coughs> hmm. Hmm. Want an anchor sweep that does little to no damage and it kills you. Damn smear. Boom. <coughs> Boom. Damage mirror. And then get close to killing you. Then I trait disable. Trait disable you. Do do do. Then I turn transfer again. And you should be dead. Death mark, ouch. Does that give like triple damage before or after? I gotta say though, I do prefer the trait disabled first sometimes, because there's not very many, but then again, if they have evasion, then, like, your trait disabled is going nowhere. Oh, what? When did my cooldowns get reset? Boom. Boom, boom, boom. So, uh. <coughs> Dismantle spell. <laughs> I don't know why that looked like a finisher for a second. Artist Rock. Hush spell. What is that? Positive effect removal? Promotion? Yeah. Why does he keep doing Silent Sigh? 
It's literally a nothing burger. I'll give you sandstorm. So sandstorm was fifteen percent damage, right? Oh, it's five. Ooh. Yucky. Yeah, that's really not even hurting her. Mega Possession plus Nightmares. I'm pretty sure the Nightmares does more than five. Yeah, I think it's like 10 and 10%. <laughs> Although I'd never check. Attack yourself. Boom. Wow, you for real triggered the trap on yourself. That would hurt us. <coughs> hurt our stamina at least. Poseidonia, which, dude, if my Nishant was, like, at rank 4, I would have been able to, like, win all of those live duels, because it was just because I wasn't powerful enough to instant kill, that they were just turn transferring and instant killing me. <laughs> Boom, stamina drained, you strain my stamina, pump go seed, but my stuff kicks in because you died. Stained in fear. There's an orc guy. I don't know why he doesn't have any moves like referencing his like mangled appearance. Because that has got to be the most like graphic leg we've seen in the game. To, like have like a bit of what used to be left of something on it that's graphic thank you do you have stamina draining no okay <coughs> and then I just attempt to freeze all and then I just do it again you were frozen Oof. Bop. Bop. Wasn't, like, King Autumn's Cross the one with, like, the skill mirror at the end of the turn? Yeah, some people really seem to think he could be run as a pretty good attacker. But, you know, you tell me. I don't see it just because I've seen like the King's Mace in action and it really doesn't feel that powerful. <coughs> Boom. Boop. Only 6,000 though is like really weak even for element on element. Like, no wonder her moves do low and very low. Rack Shrieker, Snow Ghost. <sighs> I'm not sure what I'm facing next round though. Rack Shrieker though, in my honest opinion, probably the worst fi a five trait monster ever. And I don't see how I could be wrong. Like, I get it, he, his entire gimmick was that he hit like a truck. But nobody cares if, like, he could just hit, like, a truck. He didn't have pierce or anything. Nothing that made him game-changing. Like, every single bounty hunt monster before, well, not every single, but most, were really great. Other than, like, Marla, not, you know, the few exceptions. They don't have any denial right now, I don't think. Oh, you're immune to control. 
Drusidu kicks in. And so does the deer, I think it's called. Boom, dead. I love it when Tertullian's armor just kills the opponent. <coughs> Which, that's like a lot more often than you would think. And Curse of Despair. Rock Army Assault. And he's getting close to 1 million health at base stats. Boom. You have the staff. Tetsuman's mask. Cleanse. Trait disable. And soul steal. What is this finisher? Is it just that ghost thing? Oh, it is. Yeah. Great dot. Great mega possession. Rich ecosystem. Okay, unnecessary, but I'll take it. <coughs> Self move, you better do something next round that hurts your own team. Oh, that it goes wrong indeed, my friend. I feel like that's like making fun of the YouTuber though. Goes wrong. Because when people say like goes wrong they think of those clickbait t covers and like the joke goes wrong um goes right goes sexual like the, the weird tags so i don't really i don't really get how he got the sign off for that or why he gave the sign off for that should i say is this mode 13 that i just beat no way oh it is that was easy too I guess that's just the benefits of King Autumn. I really should be checking what the next node is before I like just move on. Alright, I'm fairly certain everybody in these dungeons will have Nabuline's Trap. Like, if they're a trap monster, they'll be running Nebuline's Trap, you know? So, always gotta be careful of that. Oh, come on, do something. Dang it. Like, I remember, when you first start playing this game, possession is the coolest thing. Because you're like, oh, whoa, you can get them to fight themselves? But when you actually play it, you're like, man, they never hit themselves. And when they do, it's nothing good. <coughs> yeah, let's do this. Sandstorm. The trap kicks in, but they're already dead, so... Yes, Archdruid Sigil. Yes, thank you. I gotta say, love the Sigil. Mega Possess. Keep your trait disabled. Oh, you actually died of dots. And... What is this? I guess... Just a... Cleanse here. You, I didn't, I forgot that guy had taught. <laughs> Alright, and then I'll just possess you too. And then, he can't do much more but, like, apply a blind or another nanovirus. So luckily, you know, that shadow in your zero cooldown cleanse, coming in clutch. Wow. Yeah, Tertullian's armor just feels broken. Boom, reapply, like, get that healing. Yes, because I don't know why, there are some moves that just don't do any healing when they say they're supposed to. Do I need a cleanse? No, I can recharge. <coughs> Frozen to death. Boom. Yeah, I don't think I could get this far with a normal attacker, because it's only because of, it's like, Merc's crazy denial and his decent enough attack stat. That I'm getting this far, so yeah, you know, attacker merc, I would say worth it. Uh, I hate to do that because next turn they'll have like immunity to both possession and freeze. Oh my god, I got frozen to death again. I think this is the second wave, right? I can just do it. Frozen to death again. Boom. Can I beat node 15 with this team? Yo, Shadow and ya.
I'm getting set on yourselves. <coughs> I, th I don't think I've ever beaten node 14 there. So beating node 15 is impressive. Okay, doable. 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 Ooh, because I'm not relying on revivals, so like, I have a bit more flexibility. Yeah, I can take the hit. Because like, what you'll realize about Galvanus is there are some monsters like Fruit Chaser who are scary on the battlefield, but when you face them in these dungeons, they hardly, they have like their worst moves equipped. Other than that guy, apparently. So, I freeze you all. Trait disable. Mm, Nebulon's trap, so I can do this. Positive effect removal. Look at that, and that's like nothing. Trait disable. Pump your seed staff. Titsman's mask. And cleanse. Then, alright, you gave me electrified, but boom, that relic is great. I heal by 50, maximum life increase, 100% damage mirror. Great monster, guys. I feel like I don't even need to say it at that point, but still, great monster. Oh, he has a zero cooldown, 100% shield move, right? <coughs> alright, so nightmares to all. Candle deflagging. Deflagging. Flat. Deflagmeration. I feel like Galvanus would have been the hardest monster to fight here. Just because like, of that anticipation. Because without it, this is pretty easy. You just chain deny with Merc. Man, I'm really going to miss Merc once he's at rank 3. Because, like, he is just making this stuff too easy. Oh... Should have trade disabled first. Cleanse. Cleanse. Turn transfer. Possession. Boom. I love that animation for both of those. So, cleanse. Alright, so this... I think this was the first node, but I consider it very successful. Wait, don't you have Tetsuma's mask, where you, you just have Jastars? Jastars. Oh, so that's how it works. Alright, hard as a diamond. What's next? Alright, chain shot. Soul ceiling, oh my goodness. How's the spell? You see what I mean? Immune to stun. Cause, okay. So now, soul stealing. Again. Cause in these dungeons, you constantly get your finishers. Mega possession. Alright, splendid pitcher, please. Oh. Come on, do something. No, stop doing self moves. No! I did not possess you guys to have a good time, like, and you're all doing self moves. You even cleansed off yourself. What's wrong with you? <coughs> oh my god, do something. <laughs> Bro. I dislike these guys. They literally, like, did nothing for me. He's immune to stun, you fool. Boom. Just to do that heavy damage. You're dead. You should be dead soon. Hmm. Boom. <coughs> Alright, so stun him. You're dead. Turn transfer over. What do I want to do? What do I want to waste? I'll waste this. What is... Ooh, these are, well, not easy opponents. Does it land? Oh, it lands on one person, because they all have, like, stronger than hardened. Oh my goodness, thank you. Thank you, Monk. That was so nice of you, Monk.
I can't name a better thing a possessed monster could have done. I'll just cleanse behind the shadows. Sturdy fist. I'll just cleanse again. The cicadas are so loud. Oh no. You are not allowed to die. <coughs> hmm. This is a worry. Alright. Give me some more of that stamina regeneration. Oh yes. Freeze. Cleanse. Oh my god, his cooldowns are atrocious. Boom. Possess it all. Let blades to yourself. His cooldowns are hard. Oh my god, you did not just... If he reset their cooldowns again, I'm going to be so not happy. Sturdy fist. Ew. Okay, no curse, no curse. Dang it. No. King Autumn is dead. All because of you guys. Can we start some Aunt Leary on hate? I feel like that'd be good for the community. Freeze. That's... So annoying. <coughs> then right into a mega possession. Luckily I have the chain denial. And you know what? <coughs> Next turn I'll just do the... um. I'll just use Steel Growth. Won't provide as much protection. But still, protection nonetheless. Dead. Wow, that node took forever and they killed King of Tomb. <sighs> wow. Dang, I'm tempted to now run that zero, like, that zero stamina zero cooldown move that heals by 50 because I really felt that now it's your turn to hold Nishant Spiral right here let's go steel gorilla steel girl no Okay, so cleanse here. Do this. Do that. Trait disable. Your staff. Why does this guy have a staff? I swear he does not have a staff in the game. He's not supposed to like have a staff, but they keep I keep fighting him with the staff. Boom, kills them all. I gotta say. I do appreciate Steel Groth's healing to all. Alright, cleanse again. Try to disable you again just to make sure you don't get it back. And uh, yeah. And then I can add another dot on you, which really helps. Oh, quicksand. Thank you. And. Okay, so please die quickly. Just in case you don't, I'll freeze you. Oh my god, this guy should be earth and fire. Why is he just earth? Um, you start getting cleansed and then 
Zeshan, what did you have that helped healed you so much? Isn't Whoa, so he has obsidian relics now. These guys have obsidian relics. Hiram's shield, but Lord in the boat is sword, obsidian. Alarok's banner is obsidian. And they're like some of the stronger obsidian ones because they're from the Doomsday era. Nourishing odor. Alright, but you die anyways. Boom, full stamina. <coughs> Alright. Alright, some more Merc cells. That's what I like to see. I don't know how far can I get like this. Because right now I am just at the farthest I've ever gone. Cleanse. Purr. And with 120 precision, this should land on all. Ah, uh, of course. I was like, both of them have demon, it's gonna miss on one of them. Iguanazor's armor. Landslide? Yes! That's such a great dot to have on your own team. <coughs> I cleanse. You die. I love the stamina whenever someone dies. It's so nice. Alright, and you guys' curse is going to finish you off. Nourishing agony. <coughs> Watch. He dies, I get my stamina back. Finish it off with full stamina. Gosh damn. I've never gone this far. Alright, but how long does my luck last? Oh, Tish. Let's see what you got. Trait disable. Oh. Please do soul snatch to not him. Behind the shadows. Eh, I'll take it. Trait disable. Her. Trait disable. <coughs> Denial. All right, so this team Merc is just popping off. I'm like doing a showcase of Merc only here. Like how to use him as a double. Oh, thank you for that. Much appreciated. I can see why the forest loves you so much. Hellclaws, yes. Yes, please, thank you. Wipe her out. Hmm. <coughs> Pumpko seeds. Oh, Nabby lines. Well, you're dead. Turn transfer kill? Close to kill. Dead. Stamina. Alright, so mega possession. Turn transfer to you. I really would have liked healing to all. Oh yes, that stamina is so yes. That sigil might just be my favorite talent in the game for Doomsday Monsters. <laughs> oh, it's not that great, you know. Say more bites his wings, Norwegian spice. Nightmares to all. Take some of that stamina draining for myself. Per. Nourishing Agony. <coughs> so next attack, he'll be able to... What is it? Give himself heal? Give his entire team heal. 
Alright, luckily they don't have any AoEs. Okay, you just cleansed him again, didn't you? All right, wait, how is that strong against Seymour? Seymour is light, not fire. Then I possess... This is a pretty great showcase of this chain denial. <laughs> heal me, heal me. Uh. Boom, mega possession. Cleanse. Don't try anything funny. White cheddar on yourself. Two dots, metal damage. Yes. Behind the shadows. <laughs> Alright, we're getting somewhere. Alright, this team's survivability. Nice. Wow, I think this is going to be my longest video yet. Longest rank up survival dungeon yet, for sure. Nightmares. <coughs> Holy cow. Do I even want to beat this? Oh my god, I'm gonna... Peace fruit? Oh wait, actually. Lust wings? Finally. It's over. I finally died. Gosh dang it! I just wanna die! Put me out of my misery! Oh my god, you guys just want to see me live forever, don't you? Healing to all. Don't do liquid magic. <coughs> Actually, do do liquid mag magic. I, I really don't need to be living this long. Yeah, jeez. Finally, it's over. The nightmare. It's over. Alright, so farthest I've ever gone in this dungeon. I'm very proud of myself. And yeah, so just to start the outro early, please leave a like to boost my ego infinitely. Leave a comment. I'll respond. What do you think of like how far I got and how long it took? Um, Subscribe to join the crab army and uh, that's pretty much it for this video your favorite omnius crab signing out